Well, tonight we're learning more about a violent group of criminals targeting victims in the River Parishes for more than a year. Investigators say they were likely involved in the deadly quintuple shooting this week in Kelowna. Paul Murphy reports law enforcers admit they need help from the community to stop the bloodshed. Five young men ambushed in front of a convenience store in the St. Charles Parish town of Kelowna. One man was killed, four others were injured, including a 14-year-old boy. Investigators suspect Tuesday's shooting is the latest in a series of retaliatory violent acts tormenting families in St. Charles, St. John, and St. James parishes. One woman who did not want to show her face fears this won't be the last gunshots in her small Mississippi River community. I think they're going to shoot some more. They're coming back again and shoot some more. What's going on here? I don't know what's going on. It's been back and forward, shooting back and forward for the last year or so. St. Charles Sheriff Greg Champagne agrees the bloodshed is far from over. Until the relatives and the friends and people connected with these individuals who think they're tough guys with guns come forward and do something to stop it, it's not going to stop. Sheriff Mike Treg in St. John says the violence is territorial, drug related, and a result of a festering feud between two groups of young people. It's a group mainly out of St. James, feuding with some individuals in Colony, and most of the time we get caught in the middle. Treg says investigators uh, have connected the group to about a dozen shootings, right. some on That's area highways. Solved. It's a culture, it's a cycle, and I don't think law enforcement uh, can stop it. Just give us a tip. Tell us what's happening. Sheriff Treg says that the community needs to start working with law enforcement. In fact, he goes out to crime scenes now and hands out this business card. And on the back, it says, evil prevails when good men do nothing. In Laplace, Paul Murphy, Eyewitness News. And according to the St. Charles Sheriff's Office, the investigation into Tuesday's shooting in Kelowna is active and ongoing. So far, no suspects. And if you can help solve this crime, call Crime Stoppers. And remember, you don't have to leave your name.